Tower Big Ben from Victoria Tower in the 1920s. The Elizabeth Tower, previously called the Clock Tower, more popularly known as Big Ben, was raised as a part of Charles Barry's design for a new palace, after the old Palace of Westminster was largely destroyed by fire on the night of 16. October 1834, the new Parliament was built in a neo-Gothic style. Although Barry was the chief architect of the palace, he turned to Augustus Pugin for the design of the clock tower, which resembles earlier Pugin designs, including one for Scarus Brick Hall in Lancashire. The design for the tower was Pugin's last design before his final descent into madness and death, and Pugin himself wrote at the time of Barry's last visit to him to collect the drawings, I never worked so hard in my life for Mr. Barry for tomorrow I render all the designs for finishing his bell tower and it is beautiful, the tower is designed in Pugin's celebrated Gothic Revival style, and is 315 feet 96.0 meters high. Big Ben and environs, including St. Margaret's Church, Parliament Square, Port Cullis House, and the London Eye. The bottom 200 feet 61.0 meters of the tower structure consists of brickwork with sand-colored Anston limestone cladding. The remainder of the tower's height is a framed spire of cast iron. The tower is founded on a 50 feet 15.2 meters square raft made of 10 feet 3.0 meters thick concrete. At a depth of 13 feet 4.0 meters below ground level. The four clock dials are 180 feet 54.9 meters above ground. The interior volume of the tower is 164,200 cubic feet 4,650 cubic meters. Despite being one of the world's most famous tourist attractions, the interior of the tower is not open to overseas visitors. The United Kingdom residents are able to arrange tours well in advance through their Member of Parliament. However, the tower currently has no lift, though one is planned. So those escorted must climb the 334 limestone stairs to the top. Clock the dial of the Great Clock of Westminster. The hour hand is 9 feet 2.7 meters long and the minute hand is 14 feet 4.3 meters long. The clock and dials were designed by Augustus Pugin. The clock dials are set in an iron frame 23 feet 7.0 meters in diameter, supporting 312 pieces of opal glass, rather like a stained glass window. Some of the glass pieces may be removed for inspection of the hands. The surround of the dials is gilded. At the base of each clock dial in gilt letters is the Latin inscription, 